So I appreciate it. I appreciate you allowing me to do this. Uh, I, I think it was just a great question. And the, the question was, um, Piper, office. Her tail's down. Yeah, she, she knows where the down. office is. Uh, she's not supposed to do that. Um, so yeah, honey is is nectar from the plants, right. and um, the honeybee it uh, it stores honey away for itself in, in the for, for its survival in the winter. Oh, okay. So then they overwinter in a large colony with these overwinter stores um, to to then to survive the to survive the winter. Um, then, so are they inactive during the winter in a nest, or, or what, do, what do they do? <laughs> I like or the, they hibernate. Like? Yeah. So I like the word dormant. Yeah. Um, they don't hibernate the way that bears hibernate, because hibernation technically is when like the bear temperature like lowers and goes into a hibernation, REM, REM sleep kind of thing. Yeah. Um, they go dormant though, which is they are clustered inside of their hives. And they're vibrating their wing muscles to and keeping brood warm that are surviving going over the winter. Yeah. Um, and so um, they're able to consume that honey throughout the winter. The the beautiful thing with honeybees, however, they um, ooh, you all right? Yeah. That tissue. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks. What happened? Uh, when your dog jumped up, I guess I, there's a, something on her collar or something that just kind of oh, geez. just kind of poked me and. Uh... and my skin is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry that happened. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, it was a complete accident, yeah. and uh, yeah. your dog didn't need anything. It just happened. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, we can continue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> no, yeah, no problem. Um, I gave you change, right? Yeah, you did. And, yeah, you did. Um, and so, so what I was saying about the honeybee is. Um, it stores surplus honey over the winter for itself. Right. And we do our best to leave honey for them to survive the winter. Um, and sometimes we get it wrong, um, where we have to feed some colonies in the operation, uh, some amount of sugar water to get them over winter. And last fall, um, they I harvested too much honey and then I had to feed them sugar syrup. We got them all to wait. We got them to have their 60 pounds of honey. Um, and then this spring, it was such an early spring. They didn't have a cold snap in March. They were very active. And, um, but nectar had, hadn't come in yet. Um, so they, some of them starved um, before the, the nectar turned on in, in the winter time. And I was just a little bit behind the curve and that's why I lost almost, um, about five percent of my colonies. Um, now, when you say colony, is that all the hives or just one hive? What do you What do you mean by a colony? What I mean <laughs> by a colony is the group of bees that that are that individual. And what I mean by that is like the bees that occupy a hive. So yeah, colonies. Colonies is when there's bees involved. When there's an individual colony. Hives. I can have a bunch of hives somewhere just as equipment. There's no bees in there. Oh. <laughs> um, but um, the individual is the group of bees occupying the set of box, the set of boxes. Um, okay. and, um, and so I was going around and I was feeding, feeding some syrup, uh, giving them hard candy, um, and, and some of them you know, didn't make it. But that also was accompanied with um, a really high swarm season. Uh, so we had so many swarms this, this spring that um, I made back those bees because mm -hmm. they swarmed into the box 
that I lost um, before. Yeah. Uh, so um, that wasn't really seen in in the the grand scheme of numbers. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So now, when you collect the honey, do you wear one of those suits with the mask and all that stuff? Do you do that? I I see that on TV. <laughs> um, well, sometimes I sometimes I do, but most of the time, no. I no? <laughs> yeah. Let me silence this call. Um, no, that's good. The uh, yeah. So sometimes sometimes I wear the bee suit because on a on a nice but on a nice sunny day when there's a nectar mm -hmm. flow on, um, they're fun to work. And they, you can go in with shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. They don't sing it. No, we breed our bees to be gentle and to produce honey. And it's those days where it's it's nice to work bees. Um, so they don't kind of get angry because you're in there or anything? I mean, <laughs> I guess, I mean, if they're not singing. <laughs> they're no, just well, the way they're bred. <laughs> yeah, they're just, you know, they they notice you. You know, they, they surely do. Like, the horse notices it on its back, the person on its back. You know, but it doesn't mind yeah. the person on the back. Yeah, yeah. That's you know that that's the thing. They don't mind being looked at during the nice sunny days. Right. And so you can go into the hive and interact with them and figure out what you need to know about them in order to keep them healthy. And they have they understand what's happening. <laughs> I think. Yeah. It's the times that um aren't nice and you still need to do those tasks that um they get pissed off at you for. Yeah. And so those are the days I carry. I wear bee, I wear a full bee suit. Okay. Um, I that that happened last week. Okay. So like I I got I got stung so many times that like yeah. my, I'm, uh, I'm a little allergic to bee stings. Like I swell up. I don't like pass out or anything like that. But if I get stung by a bee, my like my hand will swell up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, certainly I swell I swell up too. Um, when I haven't been stung in a while, I'll swell up. Yeah when um because my body doesn't know the toxin and um but that's only in like uh, march and april that i that happens yeah because in june i'm not getting stung anyway mm -hmm. so uh interesting all right i gotta get on the road <laughs> okay and how's your arm is it still it's fine no it's fine you know? i'm good Okay, um, and thank you so much for stopping in. You're welcome. Um, you know, you, I come past here all the time, and I kept meaning to stop and stop. And do you have um? Do you have an email that you uh, that you use? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, I send out a weekly email, and um, uh, in that email, I do free beekeeping demos. Okay, and part of those demos, what it, what it is, it's um, it's me here with bees behind glass. So if you ever want to see the inside of a honeybee colony, I will do that for for whoever wants, and I can put them in behind glass because um, I have this little little observation hive. Um, yeah. And so like this Saturday, this Saturday at two thirty, um, I'm canceling that demo uh, because I just well my thing broke. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so uh, that's mentioned. In, in that email, yeah. Um, well, I would love to have you out and maybe see the see the inside of a beehive and okay. Talk, okay, talk about yeah. <laughs> yep. you're gonna need a pen. <laughs>